You're watching The Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Christina Marucos and thanks for joining us at XM.com. The market mood remained undeniably downbeat on Tuesday following yesterday's acceleration and the sell-off that's gripped equities during the course of September. European shares took the heaviest, while across the Atlantic, election anxiety beset investors. The fresh jitters came against the backdrop of surging COVID-19 cases in Europe and a slowing recovery in all major economies, with neither the Federal Reserve nor the European Central Bank expected to unleash any new stimulus anytime soon, markets are struggling to maintain their upward momentum. Nevertheless, the wild trading had calm a bit on Tuesday, and European stocks attempted to recoup some of yesterday's losses, though U.S. futures were mixed. The growing list of headwinds hanging over the outlook drove investors to the safety of the U.S. dollar and yen on Monday, and the two currencies extended their gains today. But the dollar appears to have trampled over gold in its comeback bid. The precious metal remains heavily skewed to the downside and looks set to breach the $1,900 an ounce level. Sterling was on a steadier footing on Tuesday as fears of a new nationwide lockdown in the United Kingdom subsided. The pound had fallen sharply yesterday on the prospect of much tougher curbs to combat a jump in the virus infection rate in the UK. In a further boost for the pound, the UK and EU announced today they will resume high-level Brexit talks next week, indicating the two sides have not given up on reaching a post-Brexit trade deal after tensions flared recently. Not faring so well today was the Australian dollar, which slid to four-week lows after RBA Deputy Governor Guy DeBell raised the prospect of further monetary easing. The comments mark an unexpected U-turn for the RBA after recently signaling it would stay on hold for the foreseeable future. Another central bank that is keeping its options open is the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, which is due to announce its latest policy decision tomorrow. The RBNZ is not expected to announce any changes in policy but could hint at negative rates as New Zealand faces a potentially slower recovery from the pandemic. The Kiwi was trading flat on the day ahead of the decision. This was today's daily market comment. Thanks for watching at XM.com.